Hey everyone, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab. Take a look at the Pioneer DJ, DJM A9 versus the Pioneer DJ, DJM 900 XS2. This is a real fair comparison because this is the upgrade from this mixer. This mixer was made in 2017 and it just got the upgrade. So everyone was getting lots of life out of this 900 Nexus 2. And I just want to tell you, sound wise, I was going to do a big comparison video and I don't think it's worth it because right now I got dual layer coming off my, uh, my Denon on the digitals going into the mixer and XLR on my left to XLR on my right, stand in the middle in mono, listen to both at the same meters and everything. And you know what? Sounds about the same to me. I'm not hearing a big difference on the Pioneer DJ VM80s. And they're nice speakers. Maybe on a giant concert system, maybe you might hear a difference. And nine times out of ten, these big giant venues, they're using RCA cables. They don't even have digital going. So I don't think you're going to notice anything special, to be honest. Obviously, LEDs are much brighter on the new one. You know, you got a better screen. The X-Pad, I like the X-Pad on the 9 Rexes too. The new one, it feels like you don't have as that little middle groove. There were certain effects of that middle thing actually did some stuff. I can't even think of which ones, but yeah. It just felt like I could do jump around a little bit more between like a quarter and a half. And over here, you just can't do quite the same jumps. It was different. You got to like use beat things. It's different. Um, the extra effects are nothing crazy, to be honest. This center lock is nice, but let's get right down to something else people are talking about. I'll get the tape measure here. The distance between things. So between, we got like an inch and a half over here. We got like an inch and what is that? A quarter. So it's not a big difference. Between the knobs, what do we got here? We got like, you know, mm, like just maybe like three quarters of an inch. Over here, we have about the same. I don't know. I need some calibers or something. It's pretty damn close. Size-wise, width, we have, what we got here? We got like 16, like, yeah, 16 inches versus what we got over here. We got like mm, 13, extra three inches of space width wise. And then the height or depth, sorry, the depth of it. You're looking at like about 17 over here. We got like about 15 and a half. You can see the CDJ 3000 in the corner over here. This lines up perfectly with a 3000. The 900 Nexus 2 does not. Because it was not meant to go with the 3000, obviously. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Is it worth the extra money? If you had to go buy something right now, you might find a wicked deal on a 900 Nexus 2. Or you go buy a brand new DJM A9. That's a tough call. Depends if you want the latest and the greatest. Or if you just want something that's, you know, a good solid mixer. Personally, I don't find a huge difference in the sound. Maybe specs say something different. Just listening to it on my own. They sound close enough. Talk to you all soon.